Okay. Of course. Coco, get out the video. Coco. Okay. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Diana, and I'm going to start my own YouTube channel. And I'm just going to be doing vlogs and overall different videos. Um, so I kind of wanted to do an introduction video to really let any viewers who decide to follow this channel to know who I am and why I'm doing this. So first off, why am I doing this? So I always wanted to start a YouTube channel, but I was always afraid to start it because um, everybody starts a YouTube channel pretty young and I felt that you know, I was coming pretty late to the game and I... I didn't, I didn't think that there was going to be you know, any success out of it and the more time that went I realized that I wasn't expecting any success. I don't believe that I'm going to become you know, a big influencer or anything like that. But I want to use this you know, as a platform to share my story um, and share you know, tips and advice and how I got where I am today um, and motivate other Latinas and help out any way I can. So uh, I hope to you know, be a resource for other people and yeah. So I also feel that I'm going to become more confident and be able to speak more um, and I you know I'm always afraid to come out of my comfort zone so I feel like this is going to be a good opportunity for that and I you know I just want to become more you know open minded and learn from other people and also have the opportunity to share you know what I've gone through and yeah. Um, so just to give a raw uh, little bit of background of who I am, so like I mentioned, my name is Diana. I grew up and was raised in Chicago. So my family um, first, well, my mom migrated from Ecuador. Uh, so she came uh, with my two older sisters, and she was pregnant with me. She came to the United States um, with pretty much nothing, and joined her dad and her brother here who were already in the U.S. and got their visas approved before my mom did. Um, so she came in without my dad and I have no relationship with him and she took in the responsibility to raise us all by herself. Later on I had you know my first stepdad and uh, he is the father of my other sister who was born after me. He was a great stepdad and, and after that my mom got in a relationship with another stepdad. She's no longer with him, but he was um, he was with us for most of my life growing up. Um, and yeah, so I only have two uncles in the U.S. So my, my family is pretty small, even though I have five siblings. Um, I only have four cousins, two two girls, and two guys. Um, so I have a pretty small family. And yeah, my mom. It was hard for her because she was a teacher in Ecuador, but when she came to the U.S., um, she was not able to continue that career path um, because she had to improve her bilingual skills and she really wasn't fluent in English. Um, so she tried for a while to you know, be a teaching assistant, but because of how the system is today, she didn't really have the chance to continue this career path. Um, so she has done her best to raise us. Um, we haven't had the best relationship me and my mom growing up, but she has become a really good, um, you know, really good mom over the years, and I'm really happy that we have a better relationship now than we ever did, and during my childhood. Um, and yeah, so that's just a little bit of, about my family background, I guess. And and now I want to share a little bit more about uh, my siblings. So I have four sisters and one brother. Um, me and my three older sisters um, are from the same dad and then my other sisters from my first stepdad and my last two siblings are from my last stepdad. Um, and yeah, so they have, okay, cool, cool. They have been, um, you know, we were always together so I don't consider them ha my half siblings or anything like that. They're my, you know, my siblings and I love them all. Um, I have a weird relationship um, because I am closer to some siblings more than others, um, but I love all my siblings equally and I really care for them all and I always always try to be there for them no matter what because, you know, I grew up with them and I love them all and yeah. So going to my education. 
So I, you know, like I said, I went to school in Chicago my whole life. And then after that, I went to UW-Madison. And so I graduated right after high school, went straight to UW-Madison, didn't know anyone there, um, became homesick, of course. I didn't know what I was getting myself into at all. Um, so I went to Madison right away, graduated in four years, and I was ready to leave. But I decided to pursue a master's program and uh, apply to different programs, including Indiana, Michigan, um, so at the end, the best offer for me was UW Madison. I got a fellowship that fully funded me. So I'm happy to say that I've never taken out any student loans, and I'm really, you know, really grateful for all the opportunities I've been given and the support that my program, you know, gave me and believed in me to give me the funding that I have today. Um, so it's been. You know, a crazy you know experience going to Madison because I'm you know like I said I'm really happy that you know, that I got the opportunity to go to a really good institution. Um, but there's a lot of problems within UW system overall for you know people of color. Um, so um, and overall you know Latinos and other you know international students. Um, so that's gonna be, I think, a whole different video. I wanna, you know, share my experience at UW. Um, and so yeah, I'm currently there, and I'm gonna start my last academic year in my master's program. And I'm actually getting my master's in public affairs, which is similar to public policy and public administration. So I personally, you know, hope to work in the government system. Hopefully in Cook County or in the city of Chicago and you, I, I believe that at some point I do want to work with a political campaign. I don't think I ever want to run myself but I would see myself as the chief of staff um, for a, you know, a political candidate that has you know, the same vision or you know, same values that I have. Um, so that's a little bit more about my career interests um, and lastly I just want to um, you know, explain a little bit of what, you know, viewers should expect from my channel. So I'm going to do some blogs from here and then, um, just to, you know, share my experience. Like I said, my story in college as a first generation student, um, and, you know, tips and advice for those students who might be applying for programs or, um, scholarships, um, and, Overall, share uh, maybe my day to you know my day to day um, life experience and maybe some get ready with me and also like how I maintain my fitness because I like to be active in the gym. I like to cook a lot, so the videos will vary a little bit from here and then. But I hope to um, at least post once a week, uh, if not every other week. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a crazy adventure, but I'm really excited to start this channel as I mentioned. I've been wanting to do this for a really long time, um, and you will also be seeing you know my family um, in my videos, and I just hopefully they're comfortable enough um, speaking about their lives and just overall me being able to show. Um, how you know their experience has been different in their own way and the career path they chose and why they're doing what they're doing now um, and also um, over time showing my friends as well who are having a w madison um, and people who are really important to me and yeah so i hope to show everybody including my boyfriend i have a boyfriend as well i've been with him for a really long time so he will be in my channel and we will do stuff together as well and my pets of course i have a dog a shih tzu he's 10 years old and he's gonna be 11 soon and we just got a cat we never thought we would have gotten a cat but we did my mom got the cat um but yeah that's everything that i wanted to cover in this video and yeah so i'm really excited to, to start this Hey everyone, this is a flash forward. I actually forgot to end a video, um, so I had to go back and 
do a closing and I just want to say thank you all for watching my first video and to please like comment and subscribe I'm gonna do my best to start posting every Friday um, but I am busy with grad school and work now so I might not be able to post all the time but I will do my best um, and I'm really excited like I said to start doing this and please make sure to um, keep the comments positive and supportive and as well as just letting me know what you guys would want to see and I'll be really happy to do um, those videos but that is all I wanted to say thank you once again and see you in the next video